how to protect your laptop from downloads. Mambo, my name is Gabriella and welcome to my show tattoos. So how can you protect your laptop from unwanted downloads? I've been thinking and to be honest, during this quarantine, we've been at home with our children, siblings, or any other person. And in one way or another, you found yourself having to share your laptop. And with that, you probably gave the other person your password, which is okay by all means. But then again, think of it this way. This person is now free to download anything, literally anything in your laptop. Some of the downloads you may notice, some of them they may go unnoticed, but the issue herein comes when all these downloads start making your laptop process or operate slower. So if you can relate with this situation, keep watching. I give you a step-by-step -step procedure on how you can password protect your laptop from excessive and or unnecessary downloads. To give you an idea of how easy it is to download and install any app on a laptop that doesn't prompt for a password, let's go on to Google and look up an application, let's say Lightworks. So let's go over onto Lightworks and select download. So scrolling through the Lightworks page, I'll select Downloads and as it downloads, it will give you a download notification. Click on Show in Folder and then click on it on the folder for it to open. But when you click on it, it will open because the computer doesn't ask for password prompts. And this is the diagram or window that will open. So it will in essence allow you to either install if you wish but we won't install at this moment let me show you how you can install a password prompt for download so let's go to the start menu and you want to go onto your control panel so let me type that in and on your control panel you want to look for the administrative tools so when this window opens and you can't find your administrative tools amongst what's listed there, you can look it up on the search pane on top here and just type in admin. And you, that's the first admin tools that will be wrote. And on the admin tools, you want to scroll down to where it's written local security policy. So select the local security policies and the window that will open will be of security changes. On this window you can make any security changes onto your laptop. So you'll scroll to the second part which is written local policies and the local policies will bring you another window that has three options. So. When you click on that, you on local policies, you want to next click on security options. And on security options, you want to scroll all the way down to user account controls. And if the admin is the only user of the laptop, then you want to select from for admin approval. And on the drop down list, select for credentials and once you've selected the options this works if the admin is the only single user account in the laptop click OK and if in the case that you have two or more user accounts within your laptop then you'll have to select user account control for standard use and on the drop down list select the same prop prompt for credentials and select OK and then let's close all this up and try download and reinstall the Lightworks, Lightworks application again so on to Google let's type in Lightworks again
free download uh, let's scroll through down and download it and once it downloads you'll still find the notification at the bottom of the page we'll click on it and open it on the folder so select open from the folder or just open it see if it will run at this point when it opens it will bring up this window and what happens in this window you'll be prompted for a password and if someone who's using your admin account or using the other different ad user accounts within your laptop cannot input the password then they'll have no other option but to click no because at this point the application even if downloaded cannot be installed i hope this video helps you in one way or another and particularly with monitoring the downloads and if you'd like to find out how you can also password protect your mobile phone app store from unnecessary downloads as well click the subscribe button and you'll get a notification on thursday as i post the video on how you can password protect your app store on your mobile phone from unnecessary downloads